Hello and welcome to my video. Please do like and subscribe if you aren't already. So we are now a week uh, from the start of our exhibition, Landscape Inside Out, at Gallery Oldham, which starts next Saturday on the 5th of March. And today what I wanted to do was to share with you um, a really exciting video and podcast uh, of uh, a tour, a walk through our local landscapes that are the basis for our paintings. Uh, and that took place uh, with the editor of Country Farm magazine, uh, Fergus Collins. And uh, what we want to do, in the, what I will do in the notes, is to share with you the links to that podcast so that you can listen to it. Of us, we basically we went on a walk through the landscapes, through all of the different landscapes, the, the moors, uh, the woods and the valleys between. And then we took Fergus back to the studios to share with him the paintings. So we walked from the landscapes into our paintings. Uh, and the link to that podcast is in, is in the notes, as I say. But what we want to do, to, what I want to do today to share with you is the actual video, uh, that I, footage that I actually took, um, prior to, uh, the podcast being, uh, being recorded. And it was almost like a recce through the landscapes, if you like. Uh, for us. And so I want to take you on that walk so that you can see the landscapes of our paintings, not that you're not familiar with them if you've been following me for a while. And we take uh, Fergus on that tour, on that loop walk, uh, as you will see in the video. And if you then go to the notes and the link, you will hear us talking to Fergus as we walk that same path. And then he comes back to the studios with us to look at the paintings. So I hope you enjoy the video and I hope that you enjoy the podcast. Get yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, put your feet up and uh, yeah, I just hope you enjoy it. Let me know how you go. Okay, so here is this wonderful vista without my head in the way. Uh, the wonderful dove stones in the distance, New Sun Hill. All of the moors over there. Buckton Castle, Slate Pit Moor over there on the right, and such a lovely view. So here we are. So we're coming down from where I just started, where the monument was and where the big vista was. We're going down into Mosley, and the idea is that we pick up the woodland uh, walk, the, the pathway behind Woodend Mill, which is down in the valley. So this is where we're heading now. And we'll be going along the canal path, or parallel to the canal path, so that we can explore some of these landscapes that we've been painting, drawing and studying over the last couple of years. Okay, so here we are now, next to the canal, just veering away from the canal, the towpath for a minute, but we're heading towards Woodend Mill which is where the studios are. So here we are. This is looking really ominous, isn't it? In this uh, rather thundery sky. So this is Woodend Mill. And we are now coming to, again, we're coming back onto the towpath, but also this is where we pick up the bridleway that runs along the back of Woodend Mill, which is where we've done a lot of our woodland work. So, it's a really special place and this mill of course is rather dramatic and wonderful especially in this weather so here we go here's the queue up ahead there and this is the lock and uh, we're going to head up here okay so we are up a little bit higher and we're just about to connect onto the bridle path that i've been mentioning so this is, it's been quite wet recently, so it's quite wet underfoot, so you can probably hear the splatters and also the river tame under, underneath or below us. So I'm just going to walk on a little bit more. But this is a wonderful landscape and it's interesting because we're now in February and this is not the time where we've done a lot of the work and so it's nice to see it at this tail end of winter or oh, I just sort of this caught my eye at the side of the bridle path isn't it wonderful and these colours and these blues sort of aqua bluey greeny colours are so gorgeous 
so and and they kind of appear in my paintings and they're colors i try and replicate so just so i'd catch catch you with that and and on we go so this is one of the favorite areas where i did a lot of my studies for the autumn trees work that i was doing and in the autumn it is this amazing gold orange sea of color and bands of orange and purple and gold and so on and it's kind of the inspiration for some of the paintings i did of the autumn woodland floor and here we are here is the clearing that uh, i have frequented a lot during the development of my studies both in the spring and in the summer and it looks really quite different without the leaves but it's quite dramatic and these wonderful vase shaped trees in the front here have always been a fascination for me and something that I definitely plan to come back to and visit more and I'm just walking into the clearing here so that you can see aren't they wonderful there we are and then over here is where when the blackthorn comes out the loveliest of trees are to quote from a poem about the white blossom anyway and on we go and at the side of the path we've just spotted this wonderful bird's nest i think it's actually fallen too low now to be used but i think it's the branches have have collapsed in the probably in the storms and the weather isn't it wonderful the detail of it is just gorgeous this is the end of the bridal path bit that we follow and we're now heading in this direction to go across the road and up so that we get better views of the moors. Okay, so we're across the road and we're now going down Calf Lane, it's a nice name, uh, across to kind of cross the canal again and up. So... This is a nice little kind of cut through. just want to show you these wonderful seat heads. I realised as I was rushing past. So the sort of ends of them blowing in the wind. I do love all that. There we are. So we're a bit further down Calf Lane now. And you can see in front of us the lovely browny, purpley, reddy lines on the landscape. And that's actually Heather. And this is Midge Hill, which we have both frequented and done numerous studies on location at and Hugh's even done some plein air paintings. Mine were studies that we used for paintings. Anyway, on we go and I'll pick you up in a minute. Just got a bit of a better view with the very dramatic clouds of the banks of Heather over there. So just so I would share that here with you now as we walk across the canal which is the um, canal that runs the back of Wood End Mill and this is the route we're now taking and on we go the canal by the way which momentarily escaped my memory was the uh, Huddersfield Canal. So that runs at the back of Woodette Canal through Mosley and on we go so that we can actually start climbing that hill to get the views back over behind us to Noon Sun Hill which we saw in the wonderful panoramic at the beginning of the walk. Those of you that know my work will know that these stone walls are very close to my heart and all of these wires and lines are the brambles and plants that scramble over and I just think this is a stunning combination of organic and inorganic materials and I love this and I have a group of paintings in my forthcoming exhibition Landscape Inside Out about the walls and what forms actually the lines in the landscape, which are the boundaries of the fields and the paths. 
and we're just walking beside one now and you see the lovely green moss blowing on them. Okay, so we're now going up Midge Hill and I'm sure you can hear the streams of water coming down the slopes. I'm hoping I'm not sounding too much like a heavy breather. Now this is the side of the path. You can see that's the heather at this time of year. So that peaty, browny, reddy colour, that very distinctive colour of the heather that's not in flower, which I've really grown to love. And it's really a rather fascinating plant. And I think in many ways, like lavender in the way that it grows. But there you are, different climate requirements, but very twiggy and branchy. And on I go. In a minute, I'll show you that. We're lucky today with the weather because it's quite dramatic in terms of the colours and patterns that are being produced. And here we are. and we are heading now down this path. Okay, so here I am again on the path with the moors in the background, dove stones, it's starting to rain, very grey now. So walking quite quickly, we've been walking for about 50 minutes and we're hoping we can do this walk in about an hour um, with our guest. Despite the rain, I just wanted to show you the catkins on this beautiful, looks like a prunus. And then you can see the river here at the side and it's actually quite dramatic at this part in the river because there's a drop, so it's rushing down that drop. Here we are, here's the drop that I was mentioning to you. I love that. And that sound and the water and look at it. Gorgeous. You can see, the hill, you can see the hills in the background. So we have crossed the road back onto the side of Wood End Mill now, across Manchester Road that is, and we're just heading back now on the canal path behind Wood End Mill. Okay, so I'm right at the end now of the walk, coming back now to Wood End Mill, which is here in all its drama on the right hand side. So I hope you enjoyed that and also that you get a chance uh, to listen to the podcast as well as watch the video. So here I am in the studio with a week to go. Obviously the paintings have gone now, so the studio is bare and as of next week uh, it'll be installed. Uh, so as of next week, uh, as of the videos from next week, um, I will be able to share with you some of the exhibition. And uh, so please do keep watching and uh, thanks a lot for watching today. Okay, bye-bye.